Sophia, today my maths teacher taught us to draw bar graphs. Can we draw them using the computer? Yes, Romy. We can draw bar chart, column chart, pie graph, and many more using the Excel software. Great. Please tell me how to draw them. Okay, Romy. Let us learn about charts in Excel 2016. In this chapter, a chart is a graphical representation of data entered in a worksheet that makes it easier for a user to comprehend the data. Charts help us to analyze and compare the data instantly. There are many different types of charts in Excel 2016, which can be used to represent the data in a pictorial form. The data is entered in a tabular form for making a chart. A chart gets updated automatically whenever there is a change in the data. Components of a chart. As each object has different components, a chart too has different components. Following table lists the various components of a chart along with their meanings. Component explanation. Data series. These are data entries from which a chart is derived. Chart title. It is the title which helps the user to understand what the chart is depicting. It is mentioned on the top of the chart. X-axis. It is the horizontal axis of a chart. It is also known as the category axis. Y-axis. It is the vertical axis of a chart. It is also known as the value axis. Axis title. The title or heading given to axis is known as axis title. A 2D chart has two axes, x and y, and a 3D chart has three axes, x, y, and z. Chart area. This is the area that contains all the components of a chart. Plot area. This involves the two sides of the rectangular plot, which are defined by x and y axes. Plot area holds the actual chart itself. grid lines these lines make it easier to identify the value of each data point on a chart legend it is used for identifying the data series a unique color or a pattern is assigned to each data series to distinguish between them visually types of charts there are different types of charts available in excel 2016 Each type of chart can be used for a specific purpose and application. Let us learn about some of the most commonly used charts. Before we start learning various chart types, let us consider the example of a mark sheet table that contains the marks of 5 students in 3 different subjects and also the total marks. Let us learn about different types of charts. column chart in this type of chart categories are represented on the horizontal axis and the values are represented on vertical axis it is used for showing the comparison between different items over a period of time it is most effective when individual points are more important than the trend in series the data point in column chart is represented by column which arises from x axis bar chart it shows the comparison between individual items through a bunch of bars it is quite similar to a column chart values are organized horizontally and categories are organized vertically in a bar chart line chart trends in data at equal intervals can be compared using the line chart if we have many points to plot or when data trends are important we can use the line graph In the chart shown here the trend of marks obtained by different students in different subjects is displayed scatter chart each data point is plotted with a marker in a scatter chart they are useful to plot relationships between linked sets of numbers the x axis of a scatter chart are numbers and they cannot be text labels lines can be drawn to join the points plotted on a scatter chart 
A scatter chart can be used when there is no particular rise and fall in the trends and more of data points are to be plotted. Pie chart. The pie chart is round in shape. It is used for plotting single data series. Each slice of the circular chart represents a data point. The size of the slice is proportional to the value which it shows. All the slices are taken together to make a complete circle. Such charts are useful when we want to emphasize on a significant element. Area chart. In this type of chart, data can be plotted one on top of another, producing a total. It is same as the line chart. The difference between the pie and line chart is that the point markers are not displayed and the area under the lines is filled with color. This type of chart represents magnitude of change in data over time. Radar chart. In this type of chart, the data is plotted in concentric circles. Lines are used for connecting the values from the same series. Data series is plotted separately along the separate axes. Surface chart. In this type of chart, three-dimensional views of data are created and plotted on the chart. Donut chart. The data that are arranged either in columns or rows only on a worksheet can be plotted in a donut chart. Like a pie chart, a donut chart also displays data in the form of rings showing the relationship of parts to a whole, but it can contain more than one data series. Combination chart. A combination chart is a visualization that combines two or more chart types into a single chart. In a combination chart, two or more different sets of data can be plotted in the same chart using different chart types. Combination charts are an ideal choice when we want to compare two categories of each individual sub-item. They are commonly used to create visualizations that show the difference between target and actual results. For example, in the adjoining figure, a single chart is used to show the expected monthly target sales of a company across a year using columns and the actual sale during the same period as lines. Creating a chart after getting familiar with different types of charts, let us learn the process of creating a chart. The steps to create a chart in Excel 2016 are as follows. First, create a new worksheet with the data. Step 2, select the cell range which contains the data to be plotted on the chart. Step 3, click on the Insert tab and go to the Charts group. Step 4, Select the suitable chart type, let us say column chart in order to insert it. Step 5. From the drop-down list, select the 2D column chart option. The data selected is graphed in the column chart and placed in the center of the worksheet in a box. Formatting charts. After inserting a chart, we can enhance the appearance of the chart to make it more presentable by using various formatting options. We can change the font, text, border style, legends, data series, line color, width, etc. There are a number of ways to modify a chart after it is made. Right-click on the plot area, a menu will appear. From the menu, we can delete the chart, reset, Change the chart type, save the chart as a template or select data to include in the chart. We can also format the chart area. We can click on the chart's title to change or format it. We can also right click on the legend or any other aspect of the chart to move it around and make changes. The design tab. When we click on the graph, the design tab appears. The groups on the chart design tab help us to customize our charts so that we can achieve the look, feel and purpose that we want. There are five groups on the design tab. Let us learn about them. The chart layouts is the first group on the left. It contains the add chart element tools and the quick layout tools. 
The Add Chart Element tool allows us to modify some elements such as titles, data labels, legend, etc. The Quick Layout tools allow us to select a new layout for our chart. The chart styles give us different styles of charts to choose from. We can also change the colors used in our charts using the Change Colors tool. The Data Group allows us to reverse rows and columns in our chart. The Type Group contains Change Chart Type tool. We can change the type of chart by using this tool. The Location Group has the Move Chart tool that allows us to move the chart to a different place within the worksheet or to another worksheet. Chart Elements button The Chart Elements button appears as a plus sign whenever the chart is selected. When we click on it, a list of chart elements appears that we can add to our chart. The elements that are in our chart have check marks beside them. We can uncheck them to remove the elements. To add an element, simply put a check mark in the box beside it. If we want to remove or add just a part of an element or specify its layout, click on the arrow next to the element and select the required option. To format a chart, we can also double click in the plot area or the chart area. If we double click in the chart area, it opens the format chart area pane on the right side of the window. If we double click in the plot area, it opens the format plot area pane on the right side of the window. There are two options present on the format plot area pane, the fill and line and the effects. The fill and line looks like a bucket pouring green paint and it allows us to format the fill and lines of our chart. The effects button is one on the right, which allows us to add special effects to our chart to customize the look. Placement of a chart. If we want to change the position of a chart in a worksheet, we can click on the chart and drag it to the place where we want it. Chart can be placed on another sheet also. The sheet on which the chart is placed is called the chart sheet. In order to move the chart from one sheet to the other, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the Design tab. Step 2. In the Location group, click on the Move Chart option. The Move Chart dialog box will appear. Step 3. We can choose any one of the two. Select New Sheet option for placing the chart on the new sheet. Select the object in option and choose the sheet in which the chart should be placed as an object. Step 4. Press the Enter key or click on the OK button. The chart will move to the new sheet. Spark Lines Spark Lines is an additional and very useful feature of Excel 2016. Spark lines are the graphs that fit in one cell and give us information about the data. There are three types of spark lines, line, column, and win or loss. Line and column spark lines are miniature versions of line and column charts respectively. The win and loss spark lines indicate whether a cell value is positive, a win, negative, a loss, or zero, a tie. Inserting Spark Lines To insert spark lines, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the cells where we want the spark lines to appear. In this example, we select the range F3 to F7. Step 2. On the Insert tab in the Spark Lines group, click on the Line option. The Create Spark Lines dialog box will appear. Step 3. Click on the Data Range box and select the range B3 is to D7. Step 4. Click on the OK button. Spark Lines graphics of the type we specified have been created. Printing a chart. We can easily print a chart inserted in a worksheet. To print a chart, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select a chart. Step 2. Click on the File tab and then click on the Print option. Step 3. Click on the Print Selected Chart option. Step 4. Click on the OK button to finally print the chart. Dictionary Data 
numerical values used as basis for reasoning, discussion or calculation. Chart Pictorial representation of data Chart sheet A worksheet that contains only chart Axis Horizontal and vertical lines that meet at the right angles of a graph Data series Bars or slices that represent the values to be compared Let's refresh The visual representation of worksheet data is known as a chart there are different types of charts like column chart, pie chart, line chart, bar chart and many more that can be created in Excel 2016. There are many different components of a chart like data series, grid lines, axis, chart titles, legend, chart area, data markers, data labels etc. The charts can be formatted in any way we want to do. The design tools are used to modify and format the chart to enhance its appearance. A chart can easily be printed using the File tab.